Hey guys, and welcome back to another Emerald Dream Gold Farm. In this one, I'm going to be showing you a really good steady gold farm to do for the Rousing Flyer. Now, this sells on the auction house extremely quickly and for a decent amount of gold, considering how much you can actually farm per hour from doing this. You should expect to make around 50 to 100k. Now, it's ranged because you also get the BOEs to drop and some can be worth more than others. Um, if you get some with speed, they can be worth more than the others for an example. So this is where the location of the farm is in the Emerald Dream, so right here. And now this has a really, really good hype respawn and it's very, very easy farm to do. Now in the video, we're doing this as a two by four. So that means that we have two groups. Both groups have four people and we can all share the loot from eight people instead of just doing one group and sharing the loot in between five people. So you just have a bit more loot and you can kill the mobs a fair bit uh, faster with a two by four. But the best thing about this farm is you pretty much just stay at one location and it's extremely easy. The one downside is you see this dragon up above you, it doesn't move every like few minutes um, that can do a lot of damage. So when you see it coming, what you should do is you should go, if you're a druid, go into bear form um, and heal up. Um, use your defensive cooldowns just so you can survive it. Um, as you can see, it does a lot of damage if you do not. So that's the only downside about this farm. But once you figure out how to avoid that and what to look out for, the farm is very easy and it's very, very efficient. It would have to be one of the best rousing fire farms in the game. Um, considering that you also get the new BOEs to drop and like I was mentioning before if you get some of the BOEs if they've got plus speed on them um, they can be worth a lot more like 20, 30, 40,000 gold each and then also the item level 424 ones they're also worth more than the lower item level ones um, you can get all different sorts of um, loot so you can get plate you can get leather you can get cloth now they've changed how it actually works uh, before it was class specific loot only um, but now you can actually get all the different sorts so as you can see the dragon's doing that move but it does it in different locations um, every few times it goes back and forth they're all in different locations so there's only one like uh, one time that will actually hit the location right here that you're doing the farm on and it happens about every three minutes or so it does a few laps and then um, it will go ahead and it will do that AOE ability where you're farming. So you just need to make sure that you have some defensive cooldowns ready or you're ready to heal while it's doing it. Or you can just run away a bit and avoid the whole ability completely. Um, if you're trying to find a group for this, I'd recommend looking in looking for group. It's probably going to be called the Rousing Fire Farm or 2x4 Emerald Dream Rousing Fire Farm or something along those lines. Or if you are on the NA and are looking for people to actually farm with, I have an in-game community, um, the Gold Cap Legends, which you can join. I'll actually put a link down in the description of this video um, where it's full. Of, there's nearly about 500 of us in there at the moment and we're always looking for people to do group farms with. So if you are on the NA, um, on the NA region, then you can go ahead and join that. And also if you own any of my guides, you'll also be in the private Discord where we have a section in there um, looking for group where you can find other people to farm with on the NA and also on the EU, depending on what region you're playing on. So that is how you'll be able to put the groups together. Um, if you're trying to form one yourself, you just want to post it under custom under looking for group and um, just call it the Rousing Fire 2x4 farm or the Rousing Fire Emerald Dream farm and people will know what you're talking about. As a very, very chill farm. For the group, I would recommend having at least one monk with a statue in either of the groups. Um, so one monk will do, just so you can have the statue at the location where you actually want to be killing the mobs. This just makes the whole farm a lot easier because obviously all the mobs are going to go to the statue. Everyone else just pulls the mobs to the statue and you can have a few people uh, killing the mobs once they reach the statue. But the spawn rate on these guys is absolutely insane. They respawn very, very quickly, and um, it's a very easy farm. If you're the monk, you pretty much just stand there, make sure your statue is always up, and you just um, do your AoE abilities, and you can just sit there looting, and it's super, super easy. Um, if you're a druid or a hunter, you kind of want to make sure that you're pulling all these mobs, especially the mobs that I just pulled now on the right side. 
you want to make sure that you're not missing any of the mobs that drop the rousing fire. Uh, we did a test for a few hours doing this. On the first hour, I think we got 68, well I personally got 68k from doing the farm. I got a couple decent BOEs, a um, couple of the ones that were 424 item level, and they sold for a bit more than the others, which is really good. But you can make some really steady gold from the rousing fire from this farm. So I would recommend, I highly recommend giving this farm a go. It's um, really good for the BOEs. Uh, on top of that, you're going to make very steady, good gold from the rousing fire. So that was it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know how you went with this farm, if you enjoyed this farm. There is a couple of the locations where you can farm the rousing fire. Um, but this one is the most chill and uh, you still make a very, very good amount of gold from doing it at this location. So that was it for the video. If you would like to learn more about making gold in retail World of Warcraft, you can check out my complete gold making guide, which will be the first link down below in the description box. It's a guide that I constantly update. So in the next patch or future expansions, I'll be updating that. And if you own a copy, you get all future updated copies completely for free for a lifetime. However, guys, I'll see you in the next one.